30 years later after signing her first record deal at the age of 19, singer-songwriter Sarah McLachlan placed her name on the wall of the Canadian Music Hall of Fame in Calgary alongside those of fellow inductees such as Oscar Peterson, the band, Joni Mitchell and Leonard Cohen. Saturday's plaque ceremony comes seven months after McLaughlin was officially inducted into the Canadian Hall of Fame during the 2017 Juno Awards in Ottawa. The ceremony took place at Studio Bell, home of the National Music Centre. Opened in 2016, the centre has became the first physical home of Canadian Music Hall of Fame, which has been inducting artists since 1978. Burton Cummings was the first recipient to place his plaque on the wall last year when the Junos were held in Calgary. Every day I feel so lucky and blessed to have the amazing career that I have had so far, said McLaughlin, who has earned three Grammys, ten Juno Awards and sold 40 million records. I never expected the success. I never expected the accolades. But they're pretty sweet, as it turns out. And the older I get the more I enjoy it and the more I feel deserving of it, which is nice. Really, it's the best feeling in the world knowing that something I've created has gone out there and made a positive impact in people's lives in a meaningful way. It's powerful. In March, the National Music Center launched Milestone Sarah McLachlan, a temporary exhibition that pays tribute to the singer-songwriter's career. She released her debut album, Touch, in 1988. Her 1997 album, Surfacing, sold 16 million copies and won McLachlan two Grammy Awards. The Halifax native was also lauded for her philanthropy and contributions to music education. In 2002, she founded the Sarah McLaughlin School of Music, which operates in Vancouver, Surrey and Edmonton. Edmonton's Rachel Dromarxie, a student at the school, performed after the ceremony on Saturday. McLaughlin also founded Lilith Fair, a pioneering traveling festival featuring female artists that toured from 1997 to 1999 and was relaunched in 2010. Lilith Fair raised $7 million for women's charities and was seen by more than 200 million people. McLaughlin is the 50th artist to be inducted into the Canadian Hall of Fame. The first two artists to be inducted in 1978 were Oscar Peterson and Guy Lombardo but the Canadian Academy of Recording Arts and Sciences usually only inducts one artist per year. Inductees have to have been active in the music industry for at least 20 years to be considered. It's one of our biggest challenges, says Alan Reed, president and CEO of Caras and the Juno Awards. We have a long, long list of artists that are worthy of these accolades. We sit down as a board and discuss who it is and what has happened with an artist's career around the world and obviously here at home as well. Sarah's opportunity came this year. She's obviously has had a remarkable career, McLaughlin, who said she received whirlwind 45-minute tour of the National Music Center, praised the history housed at the year-old, $191 million, 160,000 square foot arts hub. In these troubled times, we need artists, we need musicians to continue to spread joy and spread love and tell the stories of what is happening in our world, the struggles and everything else, McLaughlin said after the ceremony. It's fantastic to see who's here and who is coming up. Milestone Sarah McLaughlin will remain at the National Music Centre until early 2018. Sarah McLaughlin is scheduled to play the Southern Alberta Jubilee Auditorium on December 1st.